Hey there, YouTubers. This is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is fun. Thanks for tuning back in. Today we have a very quick question. Uh, I had a gentleman. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember his name, but anyway, in a question, he said, "Well, he's having trouble with his user form. Um, it's writing on the wrong sheets, and he said it's basically whatever sheet is selected, that's the one that it writes to." So my assumption is I'm going to go ahead and go to my Visual Basic editor by hitting Alt F11. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new module here. I'm going to assume that on his module he's probably doing something like this. Range A1 uh, equals, let's say A1 is going to equal uh, the number 25. So if I hit F5, we'll go ahead and run this macro. You can hit the green play button or you can hit F5. So you see that 25 has just appeared in uh, the cell or the range called A1. So let's take a look. There's the value 25, okay? And um, now let's just for fun, I'm going to click on this sheet. And then, oh, I'm going back to my editor and I'm looking at my code and then I accidentally run it. Well, I may have overwritten something on the balance sheet because I didn't specify which worksheet to uh, to run that range of A1. So really it thinks that any worksheet that is selected is valid enough to run this macro. So even if I go to this worksheet and I run my macro and hit F5, so it thinks that that's fair game to put that number in, in cell A1. What we need to do if we want to specify which uh, worksheet we want to do is you can either uh, declare the variable of your worksheet and then uh, use the, sh the shortcut name or the, the, the variable that you set or very simply you can say that specifically the sheets use the sheets uh, object and just type in the sheet name the one we want to use is accounting so sheets and then in parentheses and quotes accounting dot range when I click away that you see this S in sheets is capitalized so now that um, it's only going to go, it's only directed to the sheet called accounting and, and range A1 of that sheet instead of balance sheet or day sheet. So I'm going to click on the balance sheet and we'll run our code here. I'm going to have 5. You'll see that nothing happened to cell A1 and here or here. But if you go to the accounting sheet, that's where it directed the A1. So if I were to change that to, let's say, balance the balance sheet now will update. So I'm going to hit F5 and we go to the data sheet, nothing. We go to the balance sheet and you see that in fact 25 is there. So that's pretty much it. A um, couple subtleties here. Oh, also if you're dealing in multiple worksheets, it's kind of the best, it's kind of best practice to say this workbook dot sheet. Uh, so I have gotten into the habit of always just typing this workbook dot sheets and then typing the the uh, name of the sheet that I want to pinpoint and then you can do dot range or dot cell or dot whatever qualities that you want to do so the same thing applies to the cells I'll go ahead and get that out of the way here before I get comments on that so we want to use the balance sheet and we want to use cell um, well the same a1 would be 1 comma 1 would it not because it's the very first row and the very first column if I wanted it to be B2, of course I would use, uh, oops, well, equals 25, yes. So uh, if I wanted it to be B2, I would say column 2 here and, and still row 1. Or that would be a B1, wouldn't it? And C1 would be like that. Or you could even say C. So row 1, column C. Let's do that now. Hit F5. And then we'll go to the balance. Well, we are on balance sheet, aren't we? Uh, let's go to the data sheet. And I'll zoom in here. But uh, you'll notice that if I hit F5, it only works on the sheet that I have pinpointed. That could be a curse and that could be a blessing. Uh, sometimes if you want something to happen to every worksheet, you do want to have this stuff shaved off. And you just want it to be... Uh, a little more di uh, a little more uh, flexible anyway uh, this is Daniel Strong with Excel VBA is fun signing out hope you learned something just then
So uh, please post your comments. Click like if you liked it, if this was helpful to you. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. God bless.